Exodus chapter 37. Bezalel made the ark of acacia wood, two and a half cubits long, one and a half cubits wide and one and a half cubits high. He overlaid it, inside and out, with pure gold, and made a gold molding all round it. He cast four gold rings for it at its four supports, two rings on one side and two rings on the other. He also made shafts of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold, and passed the shafts through the rings on the sides of the ark, by which to carry it. He also made a mercy seat of pure gold, two and a half cubits long and one and a half cubits wide, and modelled two great winged creatures of beaten gold, putting them at the two ends of the mercy seat, one winged creature at one end and the other winged creature at the other end, making the winged creatures of a piece with the mercy seat at either end. The winged creatures had their wings spread upwards, protecting the ark with their wings and facing each other, their faces being towards the mercy seat. He made the table of acacia wood, two cubits long, one cubit wide and one and a half cubits high, and made a gold molding all round it. He fitted it with struts a hand's breadth wide and made a gold molding round the struts. He cast four gold rings for it and fixed the rings at the four corners where the four legs were. The rings lay close to the struts to hold the shafts for carrying the table. He made the shafts of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold, these were for carrying the table. He made the accessories which were to go on the table, its dishes, cups, jars and libation bowls, of pure gold. He also made the lamp stand of pure gold, making the lamp stand, base and stem, of beaten gold, its cups, calyxes and bud being of a piece with it. Six branches sprang from its sides, three of the lamp stand's branches from one side, three of the lamp stand's branches from the other. The first branch carried three cups shaped like almond blossoms, each with its calyx and bud, the second branch, two, carried three cups shaped like almond blossoms, each with its calyx and bud, and similarly all six branches springing from the lamp stand. The lamp stand itself carried four cups shaped like almond blossoms, each with its calyx and bud, one calyx under the first two branches springing from the lamp stand, one calyx under the next pair of branches and one calyx under the last pair of branches, thus for all six branches springing from the lamp stand. The calyxes and the branches were of a piece with the lamp stand, and the whole was made from a single piece of pure gold, beaten out. He also made its seven lamps, its snuffers and trays of pure gold. He made the lamp stand and all its accessories from a talent of pure gold. He made the altar of incense of acacia wood, one cubit long, and one cubit wide, it was square, and two cubits high, its horns were of a piece with it. He overlaid its top, its sides all round and its horns with pure gold and made a moulding to go all round. He made two gold rings for it below the moulding on its two opposite sides, to take the shafts used for carrying it. He made the shafts of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold. He also made the holy anointing oil and the fragrant incense, blending it as a perfumer would.